Welcome, listener, to Of Dice and Them. I've been waiting for you, adventurers! A TTRPG actual play podcast full of hijinks and too many in-jokes. Do you have any cards I could keep close to my chest? New episodes released on the first Monday of every month. How hot is this ghost? Can't wait for the next episode? I want to chomp on it and not let go. Follow of Dice and Them on Twitter and Instagram. Ah, yes. No, good idea, that, yes. Download now, wherever pods are cast. Uh, do you go closer? Of Dice and Them! Yep. No. No. (laughs) Yeah, heedlessly. Uh, Absolutely not. Hello, I'm Jess... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so in character. <laughs> She's gone full method. She's one of those wankers. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't yeah. nurse. <laughs> you two step up your game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cameron Jarvis, <laughs> playing Chris Darkey. Oh, wow, starting so well. Hello, my name is Alexander Pankhurst, and I play Graham the Wronged. Do you <laughs> the Wronged? Don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I got the wrong play, but I've been playing the wrong characters the entire time. <laughs> Silly cunt. Uh, right, I'll do that again. Um... <laughs> <sighs> oh, we're not expecting huge violence in this mystery, of Definitely course. Not. No, it'll, no. Be, you know, it'll be relatively quite sedate. It'll be like a Le Carre sort of mystery. Mm, quite uh, very... cerebral. Yeah, that's what we're thinking with this particular group. Mm. That's what we're all good at. Let's thinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm basically uh, a berserk nutcase. <laughs> <laughs> and Cameron? <laughs> oh, uh, and he's he's a berserk nutcase. <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, he's gonna kill her. That's his plan. Bullet in her head, and he thinks that's gonna solve the problem. I mean, it might actually, but I know that's not what you're after. No, we do not want to kill her. She's just another me kit. Whatever her motives are. Okay. Um. Actually, well, is that is that what he's after? Oh. No. This is potentially even even worse. What? <laughs> and anyone want ice cream? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's I don't know if it'll be picking that up, but <laughs> throbbing techno music. Probably yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> picking up this now. Yeah, probably. Now that it's that close, it'll that it'll do it again when it timing. moves off as well. That was some timing. That was amazing. <laughs> Powerful, throbbing ice cream van. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make it work. Choo choo, motherfuckers. <laughs> Somehow from that, uh, Cam and Jess get plus one on their next roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's only for one person, though. I think it's oh. the whole party. Is it the right? whole party? I will, I will I'm pretty sure the wording of the move is the whole party. Uh, the team gets plus one four, so yeah, the next go. hunter who oh, makes I a roll see. gets oh, plus okay. one. So I mean, it's mm. not person specific. It's for the party, but it's anyone. Okay, the first so it could be you, it could be Jessica, it could be Cam, but there's one on the table for the next roll. So much to unpack. So, any, but yes, I think we're getting off. We're going off track. Ha! It's a, a joke. <laughs> it was um, very good. That's one. <laughs> it's got. It's got to come after something cool. <sighs> Sorry. Um, What's the biggest threat? Graham. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, like a little aura just appears around Graham. Well, I know him, but what's the other one? <laughs> Um, and uh, he's uh, he's going to cast some magic to sort of shield them from the the. De- I nearly said detect array, but um, <laughs> <laughs> not not the, that not not at all a thing that we're talking about. Um, I've had too many watts; it's hard to break. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's on a watts array. Jeez. So yeah, the the link that um, Kit and Melvin have is it Melvin Milton Milton. <laughs> 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 Melton. 
<laughs> Melvin's still technically a melee role player's character, but not Vigil. Uh, not Vigil. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, Gar- 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 That's how you say it in Yeah. Gar- 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 I wanted to call you Malcolm. I don't know why. The the more the more to air the more to air. Yeah. Cool. Um, if you want to explain, I'll, I'll absolutely explain it. To you. Um, I can't hear him. I've just realised. That. <laughs> I can be telling you yeah, what you say. Yeah. It's fine. But I quite like the idea of you having like different spectrums that you yeah. can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of where I was. Um, mm. not like, like a pigeon <laughs> seeing a new bee. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a squiddy pigeon? <laughs> 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 it's just Zoidberg. It's just Zoidberg. <laughs> I was generally imagining, like, you know, when you go to the opticians and you have the big glass with yeah. lots of different mm. lenses yeah. in, but yeah, the yeah, brain yeah, yeah. can just be sitting there, like, flicking the lenses. <laughs> and then maybe you see something. Good to establish, just in case Graham ever gets the urge to stab Kit with his gigantic health. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make sure Milton never gets it. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If I can see Kit, then I can also see Milton. This is also true. Mm-hmm. Oh, so Cameron's the only one who can't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Cameron's going to buy some magical goggles. <laughs> totally in keeping with Cameron's absolute lack of magical. Yeah, yeah. Just point them in the right direction. Yes. <laughs> Grab that investigate mystery sheet. It's one of those ones. I don't think I've ever done this. I've hey. never rolled well enough. <laughs> uh, I've never investigated the mystery. Yes. I've smashed it on the head. Yeah. <laughs> Other people do this for me. Then go he... Ooh. You're okay. <laughs> I'm also going table with my fist. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. I'm good. I don't need those hands. <laughs> oh. Oh no, oh, that doesn't really apply to you. Ooh, uh, how do I hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> the no, I know exactly what it is. Will everyone just stop getting shot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now unstable, by the way. You are unstable. <laughs> In many now. different ways. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was wrapping up the hand, I was trying to do like, first aid effectively. That's of saying first aid. Um, if that's okay. Yep, yep, you can get rid of that one harm. That's no problem. Uh, but have I still got the negative one forward from the exertion? Yes, your next roll. Actually, that would have applied to that manipulate someone you just did. Oh, okay, right. So that was an even worse fail. Oh, fine. But it doesn't actually change the outcome, so you're all good. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Let's cut the scene there. <laughs> Matt, no, we, we've got to plan this. Stage by st- Don't you press that space bar. We're planning this. We're spending the next three hours actually planning this. At dawn, we plan. <laughs> oh my god, math, Ellen. Six plus five is eleven. Twelve. <laughs> For the benefit of the listener, Matt is now flipping mm-hmm. through what can only be described as terrifying sheets of paper. Or do we don't know what's on them. Oh, stack. God. Before I give you any consequences, I will ask if anybody would like to use luck at all. Nah. Do I still get my level up? You still get your level up if you use luck. No, nah, go on, it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be less high. Exactly. Now. Like, right. Cameron's achieved a lot, so right. Right, let's have some shit. <laughs> luck doesn't have that many consequences for you at the moment. No, true. It, like luck, you spending luck means like I just find out where my target your, is. Your target is going to be involved, spend, and spend your target's pretty much always inv- already involved for until I'm dead. <laughs> but you know, that's fine. He's going to give you some directions. It's going to have to be like <laughs> inscrutable fey directions, but that you'll be able to follow once you get there. Sure. <laughs> It's like a, a version of second star on the left. <laughs> yeah. Past the, uh, the yeah. toast tool circle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second left, past the toast tool circle. <laughs> but you, might, you would be aware that like the way the rules of Fairyland work, it might not be like the second spiral staircase down the right-hand passage or whatever. It might just be the second spiral staircase you come to will right. always be the right one. <laughs> okay. Going out, yeah. out. Out, out. Yeah. I've got my shoes on. <laughs> I'm planning on getting in the club. <laughs> I don't know if we mentioned this in Bad Dog, but I, I seem to remember... Graham, does Graham not wear shoes? Is that a thing? Well, I think he sometimes forgets okay. that he the, the, the image that he's portraying to everyone should include shoes. <laughs> so today, he's remembered. Right. But sometimes it's just barefoot. Sometimes it's just socks. 
Um, nice. it, it's depending on how far he's remembered all of the the bits that he enjoys the most are like the, the top half and he's like he's really keen about that and then yeah, yeah. I've got to imagine that when Graham does manifest socks they're toe socks like with individual pockets for each toe oh. <laughs> I think I think so, yeah, I think he's he's very much uh, in 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 that sort of ballpark for sure. Um, yeah, comfy, big comfy socks, <laughs> just paffing around in them. You're making my paper moist. <laughs> <laughs> the ink's running. <laughs> yeah, so four damage to Mister Paper Pants. His so official it's... title. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remind me which family member the axe is named after. It's named after my mum. It's Gabby. I think the spirit of my mum. <laughs> and family. <laughs> How very fast and furious of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's about family. <laughs> for, for the listeners at home, we're not harming any dogs. <laughs> the ball guest is here. <laughs> <laughs> He shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little shower. Are they kicking it? <laughs> I cannot see a how. <laughs> Lovely. And now I need to think about what the contingency would be. It's bas- basically the answer is going to be it needs to be some sort of big magic. Okay. Um, but let's put some details on what would be needed. I think you need to bind the spirit to something else. I've got my potato. Right. <laughs> I've got my potato. <laughs> let's let's, let's go best to trap this guy. My potato. <laughs> potato. So we can either make a small voodoo doll or a clock. <laughs> um, which will it be? <laughs> Just precious. <laughs> uh, so she's kind of at your mercy. Uh, is she at your mercy? I think there'll still be some sort of role involved to get something relevant off her to use in this doll, whether it's hair, blood. What's oh, so the hair, wasn't it? Did I miss that? Uh, Jess didn't. Jess failed the role, so oh, didn't course. manage to get it. I thought we do not luck it. Did you luck it? I can't remember. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. In which case, forget everything I just said. <laughs> uh, it's not only time. I'll let you know sort of the mechanics of this. Well, not uh, all. Oh. Not all of the mechanics. Yeah. Of the, mechanics. The, the the possible bad consequences. Um, are you might uh, there is the time thing you might not return at the same time that you arrived Um, you might be physically changed you might leave something significant behind or you might not remember the journey I feel like Tom we didn't necessarily ask Tom enough questions (laughs) Graham would know all of like that those are the possible dangers can I can I even do this (laughs) Is this even possible for me? It's a ward a personal place, isn't it? Yeah, yes. I suppose so, yes. Is it a ward on there? A little wardy? A little ward, McWard ward. Oh, you wouldn't know what cat one was. You've got you to remember magic. that you've... you've oh, yes. Yeah, you've, my impulse is a dull. Yeah, <laughs> impulse is a dull. I've got faith in my magic powers to keep you somewhat under mm-hmm. so, How are we dealing with this, Matt? Hmm? How are we dealing with this in-game? With what? With me having with, with temptations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Graham's put uh, uh, an enchantment over you to help you resist the temptations that would cause you problems on the way back from Fairyland. Yes. Pursuing your revenge against this ghoul isn't one of those temptations. No. Oh. <laughs> But not... Fairyland wants to tempt you into some specific things, and that's in all fairness. That's though, not one of them. That's just you. The last time I saw the ghoul, mm-hmm. he was wearing rags. He and was. I don't necessarily know this is the ghoul. To be fair, not necessarily. I know no. it's a ghoul. You know, you know, it is a ghoul that looks unlike any other ghoul that you've seen, and you know that your axe is responding. But obviously, it does that in the presence of ghouls generally. Okay. <sighs> We split up the party. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> who who split up the party? Well, <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> and the ghoul there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's blame Boothman. <laughs> ah, I sure did. <laughs> um, so <Is> magic magnum. <laughs> magic magnum. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Um, oh, great. So all of uh, it's not magic. Um, it's not magic. It's just um, no, it's, it's just a magnum. 
technically. So, um, to us to Magnum. It's just a lovely vanilla ice cream um, that I'm going to hurl. Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, was the ice cream again? <laughs> um, Boy, they can't get me. Yeah. Apart from one of them can. <laughs> But he's not here right now, is he, mate? <laughs> a holy ghoul. <laughs> a ghoulie queen. <laughs> My God, it's the ghoulie queen. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy ghoul. ghoul. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> designed by me and the theme music is by Alexander Pankhurst. We were playing Monster of the Week, a role-playing game by Michael Sands published by Evil Hat Productions. You can find Monster of the Week at genericgames.co.nz. Merely Role Players is a foggy outline production in association with Blackshaw Theatre Company. Until next time, if drama be the food of life, play on.